In this video, you're going to learn how to handle your American Express accounts during the recession. Right now, we're in pre-recession mode and toward the end of the year or probably the start of 2020, we're going to be rolling. What's going to happen is if you don't follow this advice, American Express is going to cut you off. They're going to reduce your credit limit or they may do a cram down. I currently have four American Express accounts. I only use one card. I have three American Express credit cards and one charge card. The charge card being the American Express Platinum, which is my daily driver. I use it for everything. Insurance payments, cell phone payments, everything. What you want to do is to keep your other American Express credit cards free and clear or only have a hundred or 200 bucks on them. Or if you use it, be sure to pay it in full each month. If you have two American Express products and you're using them to their fullest capacity and you're carrying a balance, you run the risk of being crammed down your credit limit and your credit score. Now, what I like to do is kind of rotate my cards because I have an American Express collection of cards and I have a few Chase cards and then I'll do a special video for Chase because Chase is a little different. First thing you should do, if you have American Express cards and you're deep in debt, you should handle that as quick as possible. You should be about paying it down, getting it handled, and only having a situation where you are owing American Express just money on one card. I recently made a payment on my card. My payment date isn't until April 5th, but I paid it when the statement cut. Now, why am I doing this? I want to have plenty of room because I could go straight up to the payment date and I'll be fine. But what I'm trying to send American Express is this message of good financial management. So when the statement cuts, I usually pay the American Express Platinum off. And there's a reason I'm doing that. Typically, the American Express cards should not in be included into your credit mix for your FICO score. What I've discovered is that when I have a high posted balance for the American Express card, then I pay it down to zero, my FICO score goes up. Now, it's not supposed to do that. That shouldn't be part of the mix, but for some reason it seems to be. And this is a charge card and it's on my credit report. So I'm cranking that bad boy up just to test that. That's the only reason I'm doing that because once you pay after the statement cuts, whatever balance you had before the statement cut is going to go on to your credit reports. I would suggest if you have an American Express card to pay down all of the debt on your charge cards and to ro roll out on your charge cards. You, your American Express credit card, this would be your blue, this would be your cash, and a few other products. Now, the reason I have the Platinum is I'm starting to do a lot more traveling and I just went ahead and got it back. That is what all of my spend goes on. And my spend is going to go up and I want to have the card in a situation that if I needed the money, it's there. I'm about to start doing a lot of paid traffic and I'm going to put it on that card because I anticipate within a few months, 25 to 40K a month and pay traffic. That's a lot of points. Now, to keep my card in this situation, I gotta treat it a certain way, which is pay it off in full and do not take, because American Express has this feature where you could pay it later on your charge cards, where you could buy something and pay it off over time. Don't use that, leave that alone. Use it the way it was intended because I typically use my charge card like a debit card. Money comes in, I go ahead and pay it off. Now, what you need to do if you're an American Express card holder, and it doesn't matter how long you've had your relationship with American Express, if you abuse this card in their eyes, meaning use it, carry heavy balances for months. Now, if you carry a heavy balance for two, two or three months, that's not a problem. But if you carry a heavy balance for months on end and you never pay it off, guarantee you they're going to be looking at you 
and they will cut you off when you need them the most. So how does one handle this situation? Number one, you need the five checking accounts. Number two, you need to start a side hustle. You need more money. If you're making like 50K and below, it's gonna be very hard to play the financial games. Like everyone knows that 50 people got busted for this college cheating scam. And then they're like, oh, this is horrible. And you know, society and you, look, let's be real. The rich people get away and do things that you, well, you <laughs> can't do. It's just facts. So your goal here is to become as wealthy as you can. Not to hate on them, not to, because none of them are going to do any jail time. Not a one of them is going to do any serious jail time, if anything, because they have money. They're going to hire the best attorneys. And after this leads the news cycle, they're going to go on with their lives. Now, part of this thing is America's drunk on credit. And this is why I like the American Express product. It forces you to have a certain level of financial discipline, meaning that if you charge $20,000, you need to be sure that you're going to have $20,000 to pay them. Because if you don't, you're going to run into some problems. So that's it. That's all I have for you guys. For those of you who need more information, we're going to do something a little different. YouTube is a hater. Don't even worry about subscribing to the channel. Subscribe to my email list. And also, I got some new stuff that are, that's under the description because I was using the comments to leave links and stuff and YouTube has messed with that. Now you have to go up and hit these little bars, which are gray to same thing Facebook is doing. You have your new comments, you have your relevant comments. So they're showing people the comments that they have deemed worthy. So you're not even seeing all the comments anymore. Just another little change in this YouTube world. But there will be the side hustle uh, starter pack, which is 100 hours of information to, you know, if you don't really know what you want to do, you have no clue to what you want to do, this is for you. I have H undergrad, that's a $1,250 product, but you can make payments of 50 bucks per month. And some other stuff is coming, so be sure to get on my YouTube notification list, which is under the description, there's a lot of stuff in the description and I'll probably try to put it in the comment because once again, YouTube's a hater. They're not going to send you all this good information. You're going to miss the fire. So go ahead and do that and I will see you guys in the next video.